Hi, my name is Carrie Gans, and I'm the creator of the Newbie Phenomenon. You can find us at http colon slash slash www.newbie, phenomenon, P-H-E-N-O-M-E-N-O-N dot com. That's a selfless plug, but what I really wanted to talk about, and I just had the idea to create this video a few seconds ago, and I've literally got 10 minutes to do it because my son gets out of school, and I've got to go pick him up, otherwise he'll have to stay there over the weekend. But I, I wrote an article just recently and sent it out to, to, to the various article sites. And the article is entitled, Why Does an Inter Internet Marketer Use a Little Blue Pad? This is my little blue pad. And I thought it would be a good idea to give some people some insight, because I had a lot of questions about this in a previous article where I just mentioned it. So I thought I'd take five minutes of your time, if you're interested, to tell you all about my little blue pad. Why do I use it? And what's the purpose of it? First of all, you'll see it's, it's not huge. It's not a big blue pad. It's a little one. And it's small enough to fit in my pocket. Now, why do I do that rather than use my iPhone, which I have on my hip, or a PDA or something like that? Well, the iPhone on my hip and my PDA are like, like an appendage. It's like an arm or a finger. They're always there. They always will be there. And I forget they're there. So I don't always go back to check to make sure that what, what is on there. i got to go into notes, and i got to check the notes. And I just don't do it. Now, if you put this sucker in your pocket, well, what's going to happen is you're going to, every time you touch your pants, every time you sit down, you feel it. So it reinforces the need for me to review my list of things to do, my task list. Now, it also enables me, in an old-fashioned way, to keep multiple pages. Well, the purpose of this brief video is just to review page one, which is really my major page. This I look at every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and I review it. And what I did was I listed all the things that I know I've got to get done to take care of my business online. So, what do I put on here? Well, first thing is I write, write one article per day. Now, that's a little bit of an ambitious goal, but I try to do that. Especially if something comes up that I think is kind of fun to write about. I don't know how many people read it. Although I can tell you, I just checked on Submit Your Articles, which is a nice distribution center. And I've had about 300 People uh, look at my articles just in the past five days. That's kind of cool. And they've all clicked through and done something. And those articles now will be there forever. So who knows how many views I'll get over the next coming weeks and months. That's the nice part about article marketing, by the way, is once it's up there, it's there forever. Unlike email and, and some of the other things that we do, article marketing is a long-term way of getting targeted visits to your website, your blog, etc. Anyway, I digress. Number two is write one blog entry per day. Well, that's also a bit ambitious, but it's important. If you want to have good content and you want people to go to your blogs and you want people to go ahead and use your blogs and, and, become, and establish some kind of relationship with them, you need to enter things. You, it's a job. It's like anything else. So I have a reminder to make one entry. Now, I have five or six blogs. People have 50 or 60. I have five. And I make sure to enter something into them each day. Number three, write one forum entry per day. Now, that I don't do, I'll be honest. I, uh, the only forum I really go to is the Warrior Forum, which I think is terrific. I mean, uh, I learn more by going there than I certainly give. It is just one of those great places where you can sit back with a cup of coffee and just skim through it, and you'll get all kinds of great information. And people tend to go back there and respond to your questions. So I think the Warrior Forum is great. And I try to you know, comment when I think it's appropriate. I don't force the comments, because truthfully, a lot of people, they're smarter than I am. So, But anyway, I, write, I try to write one forum comment. Send out one email per day. And now I belong to, like most people, many lists. I have my own lists that I, that I like to stay on top of. I want to make sure that I respond to people and that I comment to people and provide information. And I establish relationships and maintain them. So it's real important that I send out those emails. Now, some of them are on, are on autoresponder. But you know, autoresponders have a place. But there's nothing like a personal email. So I try to do that once a day. Now, I use various programs so that I don't have to sit down and, and tweet and, uh, friend, and go to my Friendster and my uh, Yahoo and my, you know, my MySpace and Facebook accounts and do, you know, go to each one of them. That would take forever. So I use a program called HelloText, H-E-L-L-O-T-X-T dot com. And I make sure to make at least one or two entries there in the morning and one or two entries in the afternoon as long as I have something that's important to put up, something that you know, I find maybe have helped to somebody else. Or it may be a marketing thing that I want to go ahead and offer a product or something I've created. So I'll, I have it down here to make sure I enter something into Hello Text. The next thing is, and the most important, is that I have to go ahead and add a new product, at least one new product every single week, if not daily, 
to the newbie phenomenon. That's a responsibility I have. So I spend most of my business day searching the internet or creating myself products that I can put up on the newbie phenomenon so my members, my subscribers can get on there and benefit from that information. So that is something I have, I have it down here, it's, no, it's number seven, and that's probably the most important of all of these. But by having it here, I can't forget to do it because this is not comfortable to put in your pocket. Now, if you have a pocketbook, man or woman, uh, then it may be different. You stick it in your pocketbook, you might lose it. So you may have to come up with a little better trick. But you can put this in your pocket. You can put it in your pants pocket. And I find that my little blue pad makes sure I stay focused because that's really what's important is staying focused on the tasks at hand. If you don't perform the tests that you have to do daily, there's no way you're going to succeed. You'll forget them, and they will fall by the wayside. So anyway, for those of you that wanted to know about my little blue pad, here it is. And uh, now I'll suggest you go out and get your own. You can make it blue, it could be white, it could be red, whatever color you want. So go out and be focused. Have a great and successful day. Thanks for listening.